Welcome everybody to another episode of Coach Combos. Very excited to introduce the fan base to one of the Giants hitting coaches in Justin Veely. And thank you for the time because I, I see you and you rarely actually come out into the, the top of the field because you're down there doing all kinds of work. And I thought we could just start with your daily duties. Take us through a day of Justin Veely and what you do with the Giants. You know, it's typically making sure we're all good with the opposing pitchers, the, the bullpen, the starter. We have a good plan in place. And then I'll start watching um, just swing stuff with our, of our guys, you know, the mechanics, um, how their swing looks. And, and um, after that, it's the guys start coming in and it's, you know, servicing them, flipping and throwing and feeding machines and, and doing all that fun stuff. And then, yeah, game time. Then you go into the dugout and watch them play. What does a hitting coach do from the very get-go when they start working with a, with a new player or you're introduced to a new player? They normally all have their own routine and um, whatever makes them feel comfortable before a game. And um, so we observe that and, um, you know, kind of take some notes based on what we're seeing. And obviously we have a, a background of, of having watched guys before they arrive. We kind of have an idea sure. of what their swing looks like and what pitches they swing at, what pitches they hit well, what pitches they don't hit well. So we have that information and, and we know it. And then when the time is right and the players typically will ask, like, hey, is there anything you see, anything you think I could get better with? You know, that's normally when we uh, we give our advice and, um, and you know, give them some, maybe some new strategies that we think can help them move better in the box or maybe swing at different pitches or, you know, and, and we kind of go from there. You're seeing the pitches that they hit well and the pitches that they don't hit well. Do you, try and tackle one or the other first like okay let's see if we can get you to hit those pitches you don't hit well better or we really want you to concentrate on looking for the pitches that you hit well where, where do you go with that balance that's a good question you know for the most part we're attacking kind of their weakness and we're going to try to plug up that hole make them the ultimate weapon we try to yeah, yeah no yeah. holes no holes how does your job differ from the other hitting coaches in pedro and Dustin, how do you guys differentiate from each other? Um, or do you? Um, it's kind of like we have this work to get done. Let's just figure out a way to get it done. Divvy it up. Um, you know, Dustin obviously has a pretty big role in the minor leagues as well as he's the director. So he's communicating with minor league hitting coaches a lot. He's communicating with, you know, minor league players a lot. We're all watching video of opposing pitchers. We're all watching video of our own guys swing. So it's just kind of like, we all do the work and then um, kind of brainstorm anything we're seeing and just try to get it done. So what was the biggest challenge for you when you came to the Giants to earn the trust of the players? Making sure that um, you understand their needs and, and understand their personality and listening first instead of just like jumping in and making them, you know, probably uncomfortable if you always sound like you know everything and I'm trying to just <laughs> right. make sure they know that I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I'm just trying to learn them the best I can and um, we're in it together and and that's what it's all about. It's it's much better when an idea comes from the player than when it comes from me. So. But what do you do when you can see what a player may be doing wrong and they're stubborn mm -hmm. and they don't want to change what they're doing? Have you, have you had that experience and, and how do you how do you approach it? I think just patience. I mean, the with with hitting, I think it's different because most of the time you're going in every single day and you're you're not going to succeed obviously every <laughs> single time so like i think hitters are always kind of looking for a little help uh, they might not be as vocal about it but um, they're always searching for a little bit of help and if you're just patient and you're not overbearing and you're not constantly like hey you need to do this hey you need to do this mm -hmm. and you're just like they'll come to you most of the time how much of your role is mental or therapeutic versus physical tweaks? Probably more than half, I would say. Um, it's trying to uh, to get that belief constantly, I think, every single day and, um, you know, making sure they have confidence. They, they don't come into the cage and we're telling them everything that they did wrong. They know what they did wrong. They know if something feels off. They know if they swung at some bad pitches. We don't need to reinforce what they're doing. I think over the long term, we can point out some things, maybe what they're swinging at, when they're swinging at it. We can point those things out, but in a very non-invasive way. Like, hey, I think you can improve. You're already doing a good job in these counts. Maybe you can improve in this count by doing X, Y, and Z, whatever. But um, 
a lot of it is mental and a lot of it is just making sure they know that we always believe in them and we're always there for them. What do you think makes a good hitter? Um, understanding the strike zone is, is huge. Um, you're going to swing when you, when you hit strikes, you're typically going to hit them hard than when you hit pitches out of the zone, mm -hmm. harder than you, you hit the pitches out of the zone. So I think that's, that's number one for me, what, what you're swinging at. And if you're swinging at pitches in the zone, you're going to hit those balls harder and probably at a better angle. If, if you're swinging at pitches out of the zone, you're probably going to get jammed or hit balls off the end of the bat or miss or, so I think that's priority number one. A question came in for you. What do you think is harder hitting or pitching? Is that an obvious answer from you? Um, is it one of those I respect I've pitching, never, but oh, I've never, I've never pitched. So I pitched in little league. Looks and, like you did because well, like, it makes I, you like that triggers that injury. I think <laughs> thinking of pitching, yeah, my shoulder starts to hurt a little bit. I mean, I throw in the cage, but it's nowhere near pitching in a game or anything. But I mean, these guys are trying to hit 97 to 99 mile an hour rockets and trying to hit 90 mile an hour sliders and trying to stay in the strike zone. And um, sometimes if they don't stay in the strike zone. Um, or they take something just off the plate and it gets called a strike, or they line out to a perfectly positioned infielder, a perfectly positioned outfielder. I think it would be pretty... You're making a good argument. I don't know. It's kind of crazy to think that pitching is harder than hitting, but I know there's probably a lot of pitchers out there like, oh, you don't have to do that, you know? And Well, well they we, also only we have to do it Andrew... once every five days. So That's true. You know? These guys have to go every day. Really I do want to hear what Bailey has to say. I would love to hear that what question Andrew because had to the say. look you gave me was like, "Come on, girl, yeah. that's an obvious answer." <laughs> Which Giants hitter is the toughest out in your opinion? Toughest out. We've had a lot of roster moves, but so you know you can pick from this season. Luis Gonzalez is a tough mm. out. Why? Um, what does he do? He just doesn't give at bats away. Mm. Uh, he doesn't give pitches away. You know, if he gets, you know, an OO pitch, that's a good pitcher's pitch. He doesn't let it affect him. The umpire doesn't affect him. He just gets back to the next pitch and he's just always trying to win pitches. And um, he's a really, really tough out. That is a very hitterish um, guy right there. I mean, he, hitterish. He's, is that yeah. like in the Urban Dictionary? Is should be. Should be. I think you can in? probably find hitterish. that. Hitterish. I'm going to yeah. look it up. I like, yeah. well, we're using it now. It's a word now. Okay, then which Giants player hitter? do you think doesn't get enough credit for their approach? Maybe they're under the radar a little bit for how good of a hitter they are. I think Casale has a pretty strong approach. And um, I mean, he really doesn't swing and miss that much compared to league. I mean, he's probably league average swing and miss, but he also stays in the strike zone really well. And he just doesn't get probably the love because well, he's catchers are not in there every day. So he's not in there every, every day. You don't see it every day, but he grinds at bats for us. He has long ABs for us. Mm -hmm. And these are some tough questions to just pick I know. one, one or why, two guys. Yeah. This, you have yeah. to be tough to be on this show. Yeah. And we thought that you could handle it. Yeah. Those, that's Because those <laughs> it all goes ones. back to the players and then they talk about you. Oh, for sure. Like, why didn't you yeah. pick me, Justin? I know. Well, they should know that I love all of them and I there think they're all there unbelievable players. Way to go. So, Way to cover. Yeah. All right. A few fan questions and you're done. Okay. okay? Uh, this one comes from... Michael Rotter, and he wants to know Justin's opinion on bunting. Um, as a bunter, when I was a player, Loved I think, it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, Great. I could drop down a bun and, and probably have a better chance getting a hit than when I was swinging. So mm -hmm. I would do it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think it's a skill that um, you should always have in, in the in the toolbox. I mean, it's if the third baseman's sure. back, you should do it. There's a hit. If the first baseman's back and you feel good with a push bunt, you should do it. Um, and then when you move the defense, you open up more holes. So um, I'm, I'm a fan of bunting. I love yeah. when our guys try to drop a bunt down. Yeah, I do too. I love that. Okay, this one from Sponge, Sponge Gear Guy. I love these handles. Mm. Um, the reason for changing Crawford's stance last year and why it was successful? Um, I think we, we just wanted to get the ball in the air a little bit more consistently to the middle of the field. And we felt like um, making his torso and hip line match like right center field opened up that line a little bit mm -hmm. um, sometimes when he gets too closed off um, he has a tendency to really rip across and be flat with his bat path mm -hmm. if his torso is like closed off when he lands he'll just kind of go this way so we wanted to eliminate that so we opened up 
his torso to try to get more balls in the air to the middle of the field instead yeah. of on the ground. He was very happy with the tweaks. Last one for mm -hmm. you comes from Keegan Shaw. Who's your favorite hitter all time? So I, I grew up an Angels fan. So, um, you know, watching Vladimir Guerrero, oh. like he was really fun anything. to watch. Yeah, anything. Um, that's a really, really hard question. We'll go with um, Vladdy. That Vladdy is a, I mean, watching him when he was Across with the, board. the Angels. Was Everybody pretty, can agree The one thing that. he didn't do was stay in the strike zone, but no, he was like, with the, the question you asked earlier, like he would swing at pitches out of the zone and get barrel to him. Like nobody does that. And, he swung at pitches that bounced and yeah. got so, <laughs> he was He's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Savant. All right. Yeah. Justin Bealy, Giants hitting coach. Now we know you. Thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah.